of him and I just want to welcome everyone who is already online. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming online. Hallelujah. I want to thank you all the men who are online also. Thank you so much for coming online. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Apostle, you are welcome. My Hallelujah. pastor, my prophet, my sweet husband, you are welcome. I just want to acknowledge you and I want to appreciate you also to Cassius and to me. Thank you, thank you. I love you and I appreciate you. Hallelujah. Thank you to all the friends of Abundant Life Ministries all over the world. This program is being watched all over the world. There are so many countries, people from many countries who are tuning in and I don't take it for granted. I just want to thank God for you. Thank you so much for all of you who keep on testifying, all of you who share your testimonies. It's also an encouragement for us. So God bless you. Your breakthrough shall be permanent and your testimony shall be permanent. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the threshing floor. The agenda remains the, the same. This is the place of separation. This is the place of shaping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is that which is not from God must go. Everything that doesn't belong in our lives must go in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this is the place of judgment Amen. where God destroys 
all our enemies. Mm. Everything again that the Lord has not placed in our lives must be uprooted Amen. in the name of Jesus. And on this place, we worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Mm. Our worship is a weapon of warfare mm. and it brings us closer to God. You know, every time we just spend time in worship, the Lord reveals himself more and more. It's not about the, 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 the time, but it's about the quality of worship that we give to the Lord. So I just want to thank God that he has brought us again to the threshing floor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once again, welcome. And I hope you've got your Bibles, you've got your pens, and you've got your notebooks. If you don't have it, quickly grab your Bible, quickly grab your pen, and quickly grab your notepad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go to the word of the Lord. I believe you've got your Bibles. Uh, we are reading tonight from the book of Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah 55, we are reading from verse 8 uh, uh, to 9, and I'm reading from the Amplified. Isaiah chapter 55, from verse 8 to 9. The Bible says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. This is God speaking to you and me. My thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Hallelujah. Let's just bow our heads and pray tonight. Lord, I thank you already for what you are about to do tonight. Thank you for lives that you are about to transform. Lord, I pray that you will use my life for your glory. Let there be undeniable signs, undeniable miracles tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, once you are done blessing your people, once you are done healing the sick, once you are done delivering, once you are done blessing, Lord, I pray that you take the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Tonight, the Lord says, with the message that he's giving to us, take the limits off of God. The message tonight is entitled, take the limits off of God. Take the limits off of God. Hallelujah. That means you must release God from the box that you have put him in. Hallelujah. He says, take the fence of God. Be it in your mind, be it in your prayers, be it in your work with him, be it in your faith. Take the fence of God. Remove God from the box in which you have put him. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Release God to do what he wants to do mm. in your life. Hallelujah. Allow God to move the way he wants to move in your life. Take the limits off of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Tonight, I don't think I have a message. This is not a message. This is a command. This is a command to somebody online tonight. And the command says, take the limits off of God. Break the cage in your mind. Break the cage in your face. Break the cage in your heart. Take the limits off of God and release God. Kayande Boshata. Release God. Even if I end the message tonight, that is a word for somebody already. That is a command for somebody already. Release God. Change the way you talk so that you can allow God to move fully in your life. This word is coming to you tonight. In fact, this command is coming to you tonight. And the word and the command is take the limits of, of God. Hallelujah. My sisters and my brothers, I don't know about you, <laughs> but I'm so excited about what God is busy doing in this season. My heart is overwhelmed about what the Lord is busy doing in this season. The rate at which the Lord is answering prayers is mind-blowing. I don't know about you, but God is busy enlarging territories. God is busy healing people. 
in a way that only him knows. I am amazed at the transfer of power over this virtual platform. I am amazed that God will touch people without even being touched, without even being laid on hands. Hallelujah. And God is doing this. Firstly, because he wants to advance his kingdom. And he wants to transfer the wealth of the wicked to the righteous. Hallelujah. He wants to take away the wealth from the wicked and he wants to give it to the righteous. Hallelujah. Now the Lord showed me that there is a problem. There is a problem some way. Hallelujah. And he said, the problem is that in this season that is so loaded, in this season where God is moving amazingly, in this season where God is breaking every cage, in this season where God is delivering people, in this season where God is healing people, in this season where God is doing unusual miracles, the problem is that some people are not even aware of what is happening. Mm. Some people don't even have a clue of what is happening. Mm. Some people are treating this as a point of entertainment or, or a point of whiling away time. Mm. And God is so concentrated. The presence of the Lord is so concentrated. The action of the Lord is so present. And mm. yet some people are using this just to while away time. Mm. God have mercy. Nice. And because they don't understand what God is busy doing in their lives, what God is busy doing in their nation, what God is busy doing in their families, they have limited God, Kayaba Sanda. They have limited God in their minds. They have limited God in their thinking. Let's quickly go back to the text tonight. The Lord says in Isaiah 55, the scripture that we read, he says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Mm. Your ways are not my ways. And that is what he says. Mm. The Lord says, I don't think like you do. Mm. He says, I don't do things like you do. He says, As the heavens are higher. If you can just look out of your window and see. He says, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways. The way I do things, so are they higher than yours. <laughs> Child of God, this is the most exciting season to be alive in. This is the most exciting time to be alive in. Listen, the thing is, God remains the same. The Bible says he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God does not change. Mm. The gospel remains the same. Oh, yes. We cannot take away, we cannot add to mm. the gospel. But the methods are changing daily. Mm. The methods in which God is reaching out to us, the methods in which God is dealing with us, God is touching his people, are changing daily. daily. Who would have thought 10 years back, that I would be sitting here ministering to you. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that I would be speaking to you from the comfort of our home to you wherever you are tonight? Who would have thought? No one. It's still the same God. It's the same, uh, same message. But the method has changed. And for you to align yourself with the move of God for this season, your mindset, Kayaba Sanda, your mindset needs to be adjusted and expanded. There needs to be a renewal in your mind to comprehend what God is busy doing and how he is doing it. Not just what he is doing, how he is doing, because it plays a role. He says, I don't think like you. He is God all by himself. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He knows the beginning. He knows the end before the beginning. <laughs> I am a Gosanda. The end of the matter is already known to him before it even starts. 
when it starts with you and I, the Lord already knows how the story will end. Mm. The Bible says he is the God who opened the Red Sea. Imagine in your mind how vast, how great that Red Sea is. Mm. The Bible says he is the one who split the rocks in the wilderness and gave water to his people. Can you just expand your mind and think about the God who brings water from the rocks? The Bible calls him the all-sufficient God. Mm. He is the God who is more than enough. Mm. <laughs> I want you to have, I, I want you to, 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 to see this God in your mind so that you can unbox him, Kaya Basanda, so that you can unlimit him, so that you can break the cage in which you have put God. Now, before you started praying, he knew already how to answer. Mm. Even before you started to pray, the Lord knew already how to answer. Mm. Because he says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, I know the plans I have towards you. For you, you wake up one morning and decide what to pray. But the Lord says, I know the plans I have for you. For you. Plans to prosper you. Not plans to harm you but plans to give you the expected end. Mm. This God is the director of the movie called Your Life. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the director. He composed the movie of your life. So when you hear, take the limits off of God, you need to adjust your capacity to receive. Mayande Boshata. You need to adjust your capacity to follow instructions. Because this God does not think like you. This God does not do things like you do. Hallelujah. You need to adjust your capacity. In this season, you need to adjust your capacity to receive. In this season, you need to take God out of the box. In the ways that you think. Make you think maybe he will answer this way. Mm. Maybe he will answer this way mm. because of your limited mindset. Because of what you have gone through life. Because of what you have experienced in life. You have boxed God in. If you don't allow God to move the way he wants to, you will be disappointed mm. <laughs> in this season. In this season, if you don't enlarge the way you think, if you don't enlarge the way you experience and, 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 and fathom God in your mind, you will be disappointed. Now, if you don't have the manifestations of your prayers, and if you don't have the manifestation that your prayers were answered, I'm asking you, pray and pray and pray again. Because the Bible says, pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. I want to help you tonight. As I say, I'm, I, 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 I didn't come with a message. I came with a command. And I want to help you tonight. Every answer is instant. Mm -hmm. Whenever you pray to God, God answers instantly. The moment you pray, the Lord is answered. What we are waiting for is the manifestation of the prayers that we have prayed. And manifestations comes at different times. Some manifestations are coming instantly. Some are coming after time. So you keep on praying until you see the manifestation. You keep on praying in faith and not in doubt. Mm. Oh, please, if you have not listened to the message of last week, Wednesday, Abundant Living, I will ask you to go back and listen to that message because it will change your perspective on prayer and how to receive answers to prayer. Hallelujah. Now, sometimes after you have prayed, your input will be required for the miracle to come to pass or for that answer to be manifested. Hallelujah. 
Remember last week, I told you about my testimony of Nas. If you have missed that one, you can listen to last week, Friday's message. When I prayed for God to expand or God to, 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 to prolong the program, that prayer was answered instantly. The Lord answered my prayer instantly. What I was waiting for was the manifestation. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for me to see the manifestation, there was a part that was expected of me to do. I still had to study. I still had to, to study for tests. I still had to study for exam to see the full manifestation of that answer. Mm -hmm. He answered instantly, but I had to bring my sight for it to come to pass. Mm -hmm. Child of God, I'm asking you tonight, are you willing to obey instruction? Are you willing to obey instruction? Because in your prayer time, the Lord has already answered that prayer. God has already spoken. You ask to pass your exam, the Lord has already answered. All you need to do is to study. All you need to do is to study and be prepared. Oh, yes. That prayer has been answered. Oh, yes. You are just waiting for the manifestation. Mm. And the command tonight is take the limits off of God. Take the limits off of God and trust Him. He says that I am a God with whom all things are possible. <laughs> take the limits off of God because sometimes, not sometimes, most of the times, he will not answer the way that you want him to answer. Who am I talking to tonight? The Lord will not answer the way you want him to answer. That is why he says, your ways are not my ways. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 3, Elijah told the widow to borrow empty jars. This woman was trusting God for a breakthrough just to have enough food to eat and to die. But the man of God says, and he was inspired by God because the Bible says, it is God who told him, I have prepared a widow for you. He said, before you eat, give it to me to eat. And after he has eaten, he has eaten, he said, now go and borrow the just. Go and borrow the just from the people. Imagine how shameful, how shameful for this woman to go around and borrow from people. But that was the way that the Lord has answered. Hallelujah. Joshua had to walk around Jericho for seven days. And on the seventh day, he had to walk around seven times. The word that he received in the first place said, I have handed over Jericho to you. Mm. I have given it to you. I have answered the prayers already. But he still had to do something for the manifestation of that prayer to come, for the fulfillment of that prophecy. Hallelujah. Moses at the Red Sea had to still lift up his sword, had to still lift up the rod and point it towards the sea. God already opened the Red Sea, but there needed to be an action from the side of Moses for the Red Sea to be parted. Child of God, you can't figure God out, Kayaba Sanda. You can't figure God out. In your limited thinking, you can't figure the plans of God out. You can't box God. Hallelujah. You can't decide, no, because he did it this way last year, because he did it last time, like this, he will do it again. No, please. Take the limits of God today. Because God wants to do great things. That is why he has sent me to you. Just to give you the command tonight. Take the limits off of God. Because some of you are rigid in your actions. Many times God has spoken to you. God has asked you to move a certain way. God has asked you to do certain things. But you are rigid. You, you, you want to understand things fully before you move. You pray, but you don't follow instructions. You pray, but you don't move when God says move. For some of you, 
The breakthrough is in that soup kitchen that you are negotiating with. Who am I talking to tonight? The Lord said already, start the soup kitchen, but you are first negotiating with God. That word is for someone tonight, someone who is online. The Lord, years ago, told you, start the soup kitchen, but you are negotiating with God. You are reasoning with God, and he says, take the limits off. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, for me to minister every Friday to you, I had to increase my capacity of faith. And I had to believe that God will touch you. While I'm sitting here, I had to increase my faith that God will touch you, even without me laying hands on you. Mm. Had I remained in the faith that I first need to lay hands on you before you receive the Holy Spirit, I would have limited God. But in this season, I have become bold in my faith. Yeah. Whatever he drops in my mind, whatever he says, say, I believe it, whether you believe it or not. Because I believe that when he says, say this, when he says, do this, when he says, speak, I believe that he will do exactly mm. what he says. Child of God, women of God, can you drop the negative self-talk? Can you do drop the negative self-talk tonight? Because it is limiting God. Can you drop the self-pity, the self-pity tonight? Because it is limiting God. Can you drop pride and humble yourself and rise up and do that which the Lord has asked you to do, to do. Listen, Naaman, the Bible says, Naaman was a captain of an army, mm. but he had leprosy. Naaman was sick. He was the captain of the army. He was, he was looked up to by many people, mm. but in secret, he was sick. He, he had leprosy. And the Bible says, the maid told him, if you can go to the prophet, you will be healed. And when he came to the prophet, the prophet told him, go and bath in the dirty river. <laughs> when he heard the word, he started negotiating. Why should I go to the dirty river? They are clean, they are clean, they are clean uh, uh, rivers river. somewhere. Why should I go to the dirty mm. river? Why can I go to the clean rivers? But thank God at the end of the day, he obeyed. Women of God, what has the Lord told you to do? What has the Lord asked you to do? What are you negotiating with the Lord? What has the Lord, in this season, in this season, what has the Lord asked you to do? Why do you want different, different regulations? Why do you want different instructions? The Lord says that instruction that I have given to you, it still stands. Can you just allow God to move in your life? like never before can you take the limits off of god that is the only command i came here to give you can you take the limits off of god can you dare god can you believe god for great things and step aside and allow him to bring to pass the word that he has spoken in your life can you pray and step aside i'm talking to someone this evening can you pray and step aside and let him do it his way don't try to help god because helping god is limiting god pray and step aside believing that it is him who will make that prayer come to pass it is our duty to pray it is god's duty to answer <laughs> It is our duty to pray, but it is God's duty to answer. He answers the way he wants. We pray the way we want, but God answers the way he wants. Mm. Is there someone online tonight who is ready to expand his or her faith, trusting God for that which is impossible? He says, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Anything means anything. Nothing is too hard for God tonight. God is ready to do that which you think 
is impossible. Can you trust God tonight that he can do that which is impossible? Hallelujah. You see, trusting God for taxing money is good. He allows that. Trusting him for taxing money, there's no, there's no problem with that. Mm. But why don't you expand your faith? Why don't you trust him for, for your own car? so that you can take your friends to the house of the Lord. Why don't you increase your faith? Mm. Trusting God for one house is okay. Mm. But why don't you increase your faith? Mm. Why don't you trust him for flats? Why don't you trust him for flats to rent it out to Christian brothers and sisters? Why don't you trust him for, 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 for flats and call that the believer's village? Hallelujah. Mm. Where God can be glorified. <laughs> Did I just hear somebody online say it is not possible? Yeah. Did I just hear somebody say it is not possible? The Lord says, I'm talking to you. It is possible. Of course, it is possible. Yeah. Employment is good. To be employed is good. But why don't you expand your faith and take God at his word? Where he says, I have called to employ people. Why don't you step out in faith and take him by his word? Who am I talking to this evening? That word is for you. Kayaba Sanda. You are long overdue in your office and you have the vision. You even wrote it down how that vision will come to pass. Your business is on paper. You have wrote it down already. And the Lord says, why don't you allow me to do it? Kayaba Sanda. The Lord is waiting on you to employ the children of God so that they don't risk, uh, 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 so that they don't re report to working bosses. And He has given you the idea. Why mm. don't you take Him by His word? Mm. Hallelujah. 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 And after you have prayed, mm. you step aside. Mm. After you have prayed, you step aside and allow Him to answer the way He wants. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After your prayer, step aside and allow him to answer you the way he wants. Now, I was talking about you trusting God for building flats. And you might be trusting God for building flats. But the Lord might answer and give you a husband who already has got a lot of flats. You prayed to be the owner of a lot of flesh. Mm. But the Lord might answer you by giving you a husband with a lot of flesh. He answers the way he wants. Mm. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. Mm. My ways are not your ways. Hallelujah. 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 You prayed for more children. He might have given you an idea to start the, the kindergarten, to start a preschool, to sponsor the less privileged. Hallelujah. That's having an impact on a lot of children. His ways, are not, not yours. Not your ways. <laughs> Is someone ready to take God tonight? Is someone ready to pray and step aside for him to answer the way he wants? Is someone ready to take God and say, Lord, I need more? Just like Jabez said, Lord, I have a gosanda. And say, Lord, bless me and bless me indeed. Bless me with everything that I need for life and godliness. Jabez gave God a blank check. He didn't mention cars. He didn't mention houses. But he said, bless me and bless me indeed. And he said, enlarge my territory. Is someone ready to ask God for more tonight? Is someone ready to ask God for more? Is someone ready to ask God for great things? Kayaba Sanda. Is someone ready to dare God for the, for the unthinkable? Why don't you lift up your hands tonight? Why don't you just lift up your hands tonight and say, Lord, not my will, but yours. Why don't you just say to him, Lord, not my will, but yours be done. Say, Lord, I surrender my plans so that your plans in me can be fulfilled. Say, Lord, do it unto me according to your word. Say, Lord, do it unto me according to your will. Amen. Amen. Tonight, I don't want to labor that much in prayer because we've got a program coming up in the morning. 
And I want to continue with these prayers also in the program. I want to give you time just to rest before the midnight, before the midnight program. But the Lord says, because great things are happening, the Lord says, I'd limit me. Take the limits of me. Because even for the midnight program, the Lord has great things in store for you. As I said in the, in the beginning, I am amazed by the things the Lord wants to do in you. I'm amazed by the way the Lord wants to answer you. You see, before we come and pray with you and for you, we pray for you. Hallelujah. The Lord reveals to us the things that he wants to do with this 30 days prayer. And I want you to take the limits of God. I want you to take the limits of God and trust God for that which is unthinkable. And if you are online tonight and you have not yet given your life, your life to God, you are limiting God. You are limiting God. And I want to ask you tonight, can you just surrender your life to me? Can you give him your life tonight? And if that's your prayer, can you pray with me tonight? Say, Lord, I'm coming back to you. Forgive me for all my sins and all my trespasses. Say, Jesus, I believe you died for me and you rose and you are seated at the right hand of God, making intercession for me. Thank you for saving me tonight. I am yours now and forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have prayed that prayer, I want to specifically invite you to, to church. If you don't have a place of worship, I want to celebrate with you. We are meeting every Sunday at Robert Mugabe Avenue, uh, 110 Robert Mugabe Avenue. If you don't have a place of worship, can you come to the church? Because we want to lead you to grow in the things of the Lord. So please, if you have prayed that prayer, and if you mean it from the bottom of your heart, I want to invite you to Abundant Life Ministries Royal Assembly at Robert Mugabe Avenue, 110. Can you come there so that we can further lead you, hallelujah, in how to grow? There is enough space and we obey and observe every COVID-19 protocols. Hallelujah. So please do visit us. For those of you who are online and for those of you who are already born again, I want to give you a chance tonight for you to pray for me. I want you to pray also for the midnight prayers. I want you to pray for my family. I want you to pray for us. I want you to pray for us, for God to cover us. I want you to cover us with the blood of Jesus. Just take your time and pray for us tonight. Hallelujah. joining as I said yesterday morning or this morning some of you have been joining all the programs some of you have been spending your data may the Lord bless you may the Lord honor you as you honor us as you honor God may the Lord honor you may the Lord bestow his blessings upon you and I want to invite you once again this morning uh, 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 tomorrow morning 12 o'clock midnight we will gather again for effectual and fervent prayers. Please, this morning we are praying as, as 12 midnight clocks. We are praying specifically for, for marriages. We are praying for singles. We are praying for children. Please, please, as we were talking uh, uh, this morning, don't miss the timing. Don't miss the timing. Don't miss the season. We are praying for marriages, whatever trouble you are going through with your husband, with your wife, with your in-laws, with your family. We are praying for all sorts of issues in marriages. If you are single, you are, you are having children uh, that you are looking after yourself, you are single and you want to get married, we want to cover you in prayer. We want to shorten your waiting period. Please join us this morning as, as, the, as, the, as the clock ticks. 12, 
join us. If need be, drink coffee. Hallelujah. Drink coffee so that you are awake. Don't sleep off. Don't sleep off. Let the enemy not silence your alarm clock. Don't sleep off and join us. I invite you personally for this morning's prayer. And we want to pray for children. The enemy is after children. We want to pray and cover your children. Those children who are unborn, those children who are already, even if you are a mother and your children are not in your house, we want to pray and cover your children with the blood of Jesus. Do not miss this morning's program. God bless you and thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for those who are sharing. Oh my goodness. Those who are making watch parties. Those who are sharing on their platforms. Those who are inviting people. I see you. That is why I go to your platforms and I just give you a hug. That is my way of telling you. I see what you are doing. May the Lord bless you. For all those who are sharing, even tonight's program, if the Holy Spirit lays it on your heart, share it so that somebody can hear and unlimit God. That is the command of the Lord coming to us. Take the limits off of God because God wants to do great things in your life. God wants to show off. God wants to show up in your life. God wants to bless you. God wants to put God wants to put the enemy to shame in your life. God wants to put to shame the naysayers. Those who said, where is your God? God wants to put them to shame and that is why he said, take the limits off of me. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and see you at the midnight hour. God bless you. Amen.